So let us discuss the one more problem on tangents and normals. So this is also one of the important problems to be discussed. So it may appear in the examination also for 7 marks. See first let me read the question. If the tangent at any point p on the curve x to the power of m y to the power of n equals to a to the power of m plus n where m n does not equal to 0. So that means the simultaneously m and n cannot be equal to 0 meets the coordinate axis in a comma b that means x axis at a y axis at b show that a p is to p b is a constant. So this is the problem. So that means here our aim is to prove that a p is to p b is constant. Constant means independent of x and y. It may be in terms of m comma n or it may be in terms of a also sometimes. So we need to prove that a p is to p b is, is a constant. So that is all. So that means first, so let us make a plan. So for example, here take the coordinate axis, consider the coordinate axis. Suppose this is x, x dash, y, y dash, let it be origin. This occur, for example, tangent is drawn at p, say p x1 comma y1. Suppose this tangent meets x axis at a, y axis at b suppose. So now we need to prove that a p is to p b is equal to is a constant that we have to find out. So that means now here the equation of the tangent we have to find out we need to find out. So after finding the equation of the tangent we need to find out the point on x axis which is a we need to find out the point b which is on the y axis. So after that at what ratio the p x1 comma y1 divides the line segment joining a point and b point. So that is our aim that is nothing but a p is to p b. It is a very simple plan. So let us work out this based on this plan now. So let us start the problem. So now solution equation of the curve. equation of the curve is this one, equation of the curve is x to the power of m y to the power of n equal to a to the power of m plus n say equation 1 this is. After that so we need to differentiate this function with respect to x. So if you do directly it takes very lengthy or laborious method may be obtained here. So in order to avoid that laborious method, so it had better to take logarithms on both sides then after we have to do the differentiation that will be the easier I think so. So it may be easier. So now applying logarithms on both sides we get like this log of x to the power of m y to the power of n equals to log of a raised to m plus n. So this can be written log x to the power of m that is m log x directly we can write plus log y to the power of n that is n log y which equal to this can be written m plus n times log a. But moreover this m plus n log a is nothing but con constant. So now differentiate both sides with respect to x. So that means now the differentiation of this one m in times d by dx of log x plus n times d by dx of log y equal to d by dx of constant that is nothing but m plus n times log a. See 
what is the differentiation of log x is nothing but 1 by x. So, what will be the differentiation of log y? That is also 1 by y, but the y differentiation must be written that is dy by dx. But whereas log x differentiation is with respect to x is 1 by x, whereas the differentiation of log y is 1 by y dy by dx. So, let us write it. So, now we get m times 1 by x plus n times 1 by y, but differentiation of y with respect to x is dy by dx equal to. So, you might have expected what is the differentiation of this one? The derivative of constant is 0. So, we get 0 here. So, now 0. So, this can be simplified as m by x plus n by y dy by dx is equal to 0. Now, in this case, we need to find out dy by dx. So, let us find out dy by dx. So, n by y dy by dx equals to minus m f by x. So, now dy by dx equals to minus m into y minus m y divided by n into x n x. This is the derivative of this function. So, after finding the derivative, now it is the time to find out the slope of the tangent. How do you find out slope of the tangent? So, let us consider the p point is x1 comma y1. At p x1 comma y1, we need to evaluate the value of dy by dx. So, that is nothing but slope of the tangent. So, that means now write down, let us suppose let p x1 comma y1 be any point on equation 1 that means on this curve. So, now let us calculate slope of the tangent, slope of the tangent or slope to the tangent. See slope of the tangent is denoted by m because it is a line only. So, slope of the tangent is denoted by m that equals to dy by dx at p of x1 comma y1. So, that means instead of x actually we have to substitute x1 the y is being actually substituted by the y1 so as to get m. So, this equals to now here substituting y for y1 x for x1 we get minus m y1 by n x1. Now, the next step is easily you can expect it that is nothing but the finding the equation to the tangent. So, that means what is the equation to the tangent you have to recall the formula that is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 very simple. So, now equation to the tangent tangent at p that means at p x 1 comma y 1 is y minus y 1 is equal to m times x minus x 1. This is nothing but equation of a line passing through x 1 comma y 1 having the slope x 1 comma y 1. So, let us substitute m for minus m y 1 by n x 1. After that we have to simplify it. So, let it be simplified. So, now the equation of the tangent becomes y minus y 1 equals to minus m y 1 n x 1 x minus x 1. This is the equation to the tangent. So, now we need to find out in this case also here OA, OA stands for x intercept and OB stands for y intercept of this line we have to find out. So, that means directly we can find out from this also we can find out. So, one thing you do it now. If you want to find out uh, the x intercept put y for 0 we get uh, the value of x so that we can find out the coordinates of EA. So, let us proceed like that. So, put 
y equals to 0. So, that implies now this becomes minus y1 minus my1 by nx1 into x minus x1. So, this minus y1, y1 cancel, we get now here y1, y1 cancel, minus minus cancel, 1 equals to m by nx1 into x minus x1 cross multiply nx1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So, x minus x1 equals to nx1 by m. We need to find out x. x is equal to nx1 by m plus x1. So, now here m is the LCM nx1 plus mx1 you get m plus n times x1 that means this is the oa value that means the a coordinates will be m plus n x1 by m comma 0 we get it so therefore the coordinates of a are we can write like this m plus n times x1 by m comma 0 these are the a coordinates Now, a coordinates are therefore, a coordinates m plus n x 1 by m comma 0. Now, we need to find out b coordinates. For b coordinates that means first we have to find out y intercept to get y intercept put x is equal to 0 put x is equal to 0 here so now put x is equal to 0 here so that means y minus y1 is equal to minus m y1 by n x 1. So, 0 minus x 1 because in the place of x the 0 has been replaced with. So, we get this one now minus m y 1 by n x 1 n x 1 minus x 1. So, x 1 x 1 gets cancelled we have m y 1 by n m y 1 by n. So, now we need to find out, we need to find out y value. So, y is equal to m y 1 by n plus y 1. So, this can be written m y 1 plus n y 1 by n. Okay. So, now this is nothing but m plus n of y1 by n. So, that means this is the y intercept. Y intercept means this ob is equal to that value. So, now what does b becomes? The b coordinates are 0 comma m plus n y1 by n. So, that means we need to write now Therefore, B coordinates B coordinates are 0 comma m plus n y 1 by n. These are the B coordinates. So, that means B coordinates we can write 0 comma m plus n by n y 1 these are the b coordinates ok. So, now we need to find out a p is to p b a p is to p b means at what ratio p divides the line segment joining the points a b the ratio we have to find out. So, that means 
here the ratio at which p divides p divides the line segment the line segment joining the points a and b is ap is to pb so this is to be actually evaluated here for this one we have one important formula you remember like this x minus x1 is to x2 minus x this formula we can remember see x minus x1 is to x2 suppose say this is x comma y suppose you say this is x comma y this is x1 comma y1 suppose say this is x2 comma y2 replacing this one so ap is to pb is equal to x x means here x1 am i correct x1 minus x1 is m plus n x1 by by m is to now x2 x2 is how much x2 is 0 minus x here minus x is x1 only this is very important so now this must be simplified now so let so now here ap is to pb is equal to so now let us simplify this one mx1 and minus mx1 and next minus nx1 by m is to minus x1 just check it for calculation so now mx1 mx1 gets cancelled minus nx1 by m is to x1 minus x1 here minus x1 minus x1 gets cancelled we have n by m is to 1 multiply with m so this becomes n is to m now what do you observe yes the ap is to pb is n is constant m is constant n is to m is constant so therefore ap is to pb is constant hence it is proved 